Hey y'all, welcome to Pleiadian Point of View. I'm Peyton with Peyton Energetics and I'm a Pleiadian channel. So in today's point of view, the Pleiadians wanted to talk to us a little bit about how we can have greater contact with them. So if you have been listening to the Pleiadians messages with me for a while, you know that something the Pleiadians have mentioned a couple of times is how eager they are to work with any humans who want to work with them. So today they're going to tell you a little bit more about how to go about doing that. Because the Pleiadians are one of our closest galactic family members and one of the races, one of the star races that is most active in helping humanity right now. So the Pleiadians are everywhere And they are super excited to work more closely with us, especially now that we have entered the window for open contact, which, as y'all have heard me say in several videos, started in January of 2023. So just a little while ago. So in today's point of view, the Pleiadians wanted to talk a little bit to anyone who is interested in having more involvement with them, having more personal contact with them. So according to the Pleiadians, there are a couple key things that can be very helpful to do if you want to have greater contact with them, be someone who actually works with them. And the first thing the Pleiadians always mention when people ask how they can work with them, the first step is always to raise your vibration. Now, as you have heard the Pleiadians talk about in so many videos, You know by now, everything is frequency. That is everything that is determining the experience we have as humans is our frequency. And as the P's like to say, in order to connect with the higher realms, whether that is the Pleiadians you want to work with, the Syrians, the Arcturians, we have to meet them in frequency. And of course, for us to jump up to the frequency of these multidimensional beings is a little out of reach for most of us, but we can raise our vibration as high as possible. So that is the first thing the Pleiadians recommend for anyone wanting to have more multidimensional contact is to do everything you can to raise your vibration. So how do you do that? Well, the basic ways that we go about raising our vibration are first and foremost, releasing limiting beliefs. That is one of the big things that drags all of our vibrations downward. Our limiting beliefs create what we call resistance in our energy field. And that is just density. It is like driving with the emergency brake on. So the more you can do your inner work, and start to identify your limiting beliefs and let them go, you will start to really dramatically change your frequency, your vibration. So of course, that is only one way to go about it. There are lots of ways that I have talked about in my videos to raise your vibration, but limiting beliefs is kind of, that is the key. Now, of course, everything else that you give your attention to affects your vibration. So the foods you eat affect your vibration. So are you eating clean? Are you eating high vibrational natural foods? Or are you eating a lot of garbage? Well, there's a vibrational difference in the fuel you are putting in your body. So that is another way you can start to raise your vibration. Another way to go about doing it is examining where you place your focus. And as y'all know, this is a mantra of the Pleiadians. Focus, focus, focus. What are you giving your attention to? Is it sources of information and entertainment that are high vibrational? Are you watching things and following people who are lifting you up, who are lifting other people up? Or are you doing the opposite? Are you paying attention to things, following people, following sources of information that are negative, that are fear-based, hugely different frequencies. So that's another way you can start to crank up your vibration is by paying attention to anything you take in. 
whether that is food, whether that is information, whether that is entertainment, or whether it is the people you spend your time with. All of it contributes to your vibration. So according to the Pleiadians, anyone wanting to have more multidimensional connection needs to raise their vibration because essentially we are on different frequencies than our galactic family. And while we can't jump all the way up to meet them, we can meet them halfway, but we have to do our work to do that. So if we want to connect with the higher realms, we have to be in charge of our frequency. So that is step number one. Now, step number two, if you want to have more contact with your galactic family or with the Pleiadians who are part of our galactic family, step number two is to be in your heart. Now, you have heard me talk about this in so many videos, so I am not going to go down the rabbit hole with you today, but to be in your heart means you are in your fifth dimensional operating system which is very different from where most of us hang out most of the time. And that is in the mind. That is the 3D operating system. And the mind, by its very construction, is designed to block out higher dimensional information. That is what lets us have the 3D experience, is the mind blocks out everything higher dimensional. Everything that tells us we are unlimited, we are God consciousness, the mind was created to block out multidimensional information. So if we are living in our minds as, let's face it, most humans are, we can't connect with the higher realms. The brain will block it out. That's its job. So in order to short circuit this, we have to get in the heart. And I have tons of videos on this. So check them out. If you want to know how to do that, there is a simple process to get out of the monkey mind. So that is critical. The guides always say we can't hear them unless we're in the heart. So that is step number two. Now, there is a third step that can be super helpful. If you are really excited about this and want to start working with your galactic family, your star family, the Pleiadians, because everyone loves the Pleiadians, the third step that can really be helpful and really jumpstart your learning process, your process of connecting, is to get some formal training. So there are some very simple intuitive tools that we use in the intuitive world that can help you open up your connection much more easily, much more quickly, and much more safely. So if this is something that is of big interest to you, really important to you, this is the point where formal training can really be helpful to you, working with an intuitive, especially someone who focuses on galactic energies, because that is its own little kind of specialty area. Working with galactic energies is different from some of the other flavors of intuitive work that we have. So this can really speed up your learning curve is to get some proper tools. And you've heard me talk in so many videos about the power of having tools, because as the Pleiadians tell us all the time, knowledge only gets you so far then you have to have the tools to apply it. And we have very simple, very powerful intuitive tools that can help you open up your connection. So this is a great thing that can help you if this is something you're interested in doing. So working with someone who can give you concrete tools, because doing this work safely is super, super important. You don't want to waste time connecting with energies that are going to waste your time. So formal training can really be helpful if you are interested in doing this seriously. And the Pleiadians also wanted to throw in that this is something that anyone can do. There is a common misconception in the spiritual community that you have to be special to do this. And that's not the case at all. Anyone can connect with their galactic family. Anyone can connect with their higher self. It's just a matter of knowing how to do it. Again, as I always say, in a way that's safe and effective. 
Those are my personal priorities is to make sure people do this in a way that is safe and effective that actually works. Now, something else the Pleiadians wanted to throw in to this conversation is to share a little bit about what their energy feels like to humans. And the point of this is to help you know when you're connecting with them because you may have guides that are Pleiadian. So it can be very helpful as you start to open your multidimensional abilities to be able to identify the energy you're connecting with. So when I ask the Pleiadians to describe how humans may perceive their energy, what the Pleiadians said is that humans will often perceive their energy or feel their energy as being very buzzy. So very electrical, a little tingly, very energizing, very uplifting. So the Pleiadian energy, as compared to some of the other members of our star family, the Pleiadian energy is that jolt of caffeine. It is the cappuccino or the espresso in your day that gives you energy. So that's one way that can help you identify Pleiadian energy is if you are connecting with guides who make you feel buzzy and awake and alive. And like you just had that little jolt of caffeine. That is a very common way for humans to perceive Pleiadian energy is as that little jolt of electricity. So this is kind of unique amongst the star races. And that just gives you a little something to look for as you start to expand your multidimensional abilities. Now, something else that can help you identify the Pleiadians is the color of their energy. So if you are someone who can see colors, you may pick up Pleiadian energy as being green, the color green. And that's how it always looks to me. My Pleiadian guides will come through very often as a field of green energy. But that is not the only color. The color purple comes up a lot with Pleiadians as well, especially with Pleiadians from certain Pleiadian star systems. So the color purple is also associated with the Pleiadians. And then some people get the color turquoise. So if you are interacting with an energy that is turquoise in color and has that zappy, tingly, energizing feel, That may mean that you're connecting with Pleiadian energy. And something else the Pleiadians wanted to offer to help you connect with them is to talk a little bit about the messages they share with humans to help you figure out if it is Pleiadian energy you are connecting with. And one thing you will notice about Pleiadian messages compared to some of the other star races is they are saturated with love. The Pleiadians are all about love. They are all about being heart-centered, about empowering everyone, about treating everyone equally. These are the themes you will see in Pleiadian messages. And if you listen to different Pleiadian channels, you will see the same themes because the Pleiadians are pretty consistent. So one thing you will notice in Pleiadian messages is the overwhelming theme of love, of building people up, of empowering you. So if you are getting messages that are limiting, disempowering, negative, you are probably not connecting with the Pleiadians because the Pleiadians are all about the love. So they are there to build you up, to help you rediscover your power, and to help you do this yourself. As you've heard the Pleiadians say time and time again, it's time to be your own guru. So you will see this flavor throughout their messages, and you will see these themes of love, empowerment, uplifting, encouraging you. The Pleiadians are always your biggest cheerleader. So this will help you recognize the themes that tend to come from our Pleiadian friends. And you will start to, as you put these pieces together, start to recognize when you're connecting with Pleiadian energy. And the final note that the Pleiadians had for us 
in this week's POV is to add on to what they said earlier about how everyone can do this. Because as y'all know, we are multidimensional beings. We're just playing a game of limitation. And as we start to remember who we truly are, we start to connect with our star family much more easily. And the Pleiadians like to say, this is something that is a natural gift of star seeds to be able to do this, to be able to connect with your star family. So this is something that many of you watching this, if you are resonating with the messages of the Pleiadians, This is something that probably comes very easily to you. The Pleiadians like to say that star seeds have a direct dial to the galactics because they are one. So if you are a star seed and if you are listening to these videos and the messages from the Pleiadians and resonating with them, the Pleiadians like to say you are probably a star seed connecting with your galactic family is probably one of your superpowers. It is probably something that you are very good at. You just may need a little training, a little steering in the right direction. So the Pleiadians just wanted to share these little thoughts, these steps to help you do that. If this is something that you have been kind of toying with the idea of, and really what is more exciting than reconnecting with our galactic family? So let me know in the comments below, what else do you want the Pleiadians to talk about? What questions do you have for them? Drop that in the comment box below. And while you're down there, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't done that yet. I'll see you soon. Bye.